Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how I make this gorgeous bracelet. The things that I'm going to use are golden Miyuki beads size 11-0 and then I have these crystal beads. I think I got these ones in Hobbycraft, if you're from the UK, you will know, um, but they are size 5 millimeters, if I'm correct. I will try and link exactly the ones that I use, but I think any larger size than these beads should be fine. So I don't think you need to go out and actually buy new beads if you have some at home. Then I have the closures, which is the lobster claws and jump rings and fold over crimp ends. I got these ones from Amazon. Then I have two pliers just basic ones so I can close the ends and then I have fishing line and the size that I am using is here so 0 0.32 millimeter also I'm a end scissors everything that I'm gonna use I will link in the description box I will try to get the same beads but if not I will link at least something similar to the ones that I use but as I said, you don't need to go out and buy new ones. If you have some at home, you can just experiment with the ones that you have. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to cut some fishing line. I'm taking about a meter. I folded it over and just making sure that both of the ends are the same length. And then I take the other end and this is where I'm going to put the ends on. And I just sort of like folded the fishing line over and now I'm just gonna bend down the sides like so. Very easy to work with these ones because they they just very soft so, so they bend down really easily. And then I'm going to take one jump ring Open it up Put the end that we just created on And then I will pull the lobster claw on as well And just close the jump ring Like that and now we can start beading. So the first thing, I'm going to take one of the beads, smaller ones, and just pull the fishing line through each side of the bead from opposite sides and just drag it down like so. And then I'm going to take two beads and put one on each end of the fishing line. And then just put, take another bead and pull each end of the fishing line through the opposite side of the bead. So it kind of creates like an X. And now we are just doing the band for the race layer. And I will do that a couple of times. So one bead on each end of the fishing line. And then one bead where you put the fishing line through opposite side of the bead. And it creates like an X. Drag it down and then let's do it one more time. So we put one bead on each end of the fishing line and then we put one bead and we put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead. Like so. 
And now we're going to make the flower. So we take two beads on each end of the fishing line. Just let them go down. And then we take one of the bigger beads and we just pull each end of the fishing line to the opposite side of the bead. Like so. And just drag it down. And this is how it looks now. And now we take two of the bigger beads, pull one on each end of the fishing line, like so. And then we take one larger bead and we pull each end of the fishing line to the opposite side of the bead. It's basically, we just did the same thing that we did with the small beads, like so. And now we're going to turn it around like so. And now we're going to pull this end of the fishing line through back through the larger bead. One thing I will suggest is to make sure that your fishing line can go through the bigger bead about four times. So make sure that the hole of the bead is big enough or you just need to get a smaller fishing line so now we just continue and we pull the same side of the fishing line through the bottom bead here Like so. It's okay if it's not like very tight, we can tighten it up later on. So now we take this end and we pull through the other side of the bead and then we pull through the bottom bead again. So now, when we turn it back, instead of the fishing light coming through this bead, it's coming through the bottom bead. And now, I'm going to take these two ends of the fishing line and put six beads on of the smaller beads, six small beads on each end of the fishing line. Like so, and just drag it down. And this is how it currently looks. And now I'm going to take each end of the fishing line and pull it through the top bead. One through one side. So when I pull it, you're just going to cover the side B and then the other side through the other side. Larger bead. Oh, it went through the smaller ones as well. And now if I pull it, it's going to tighten it up. Like so. And now I'm going to take, put two smaller beads on each end of the fishing line. And 
and take one more smaller bead and pull each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead. And, I, and I'm just going to drag it down. And this is the first part done. The shine of the crystal beads is just gorgeous. And now we can make a little bit more of the band. So you take one bead on each end of the fishing line, as we did in the beginning, and then one smaller bead through opposite side, each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead, like an X. Drag it down. This is here, you can choose how many times you want to do it. I think I'm going to do like four times until we get to the next flower, which I'm going to show you again how I do it step by step. In the meantime, while we do this, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm so grateful for the love I have received so far. It's been amazing and I would really, really much appreciate if you gave me your feedback. And if you have any ideas what you would like me to make, please leave me a comment and I will try my best to do so. So... I think that's it for the band so far and now again we're gonna do the the flower here so this is where I am now the last bead is here so I pull each end of the fishing line to the opposite side of the bead and now I'm gonna take four smaller beads and put two on each end of the fishing line like so and now I'm going to take one bigger bead and put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead and just drag it down Like so and now I'm gonna take two larger beads put one on each end of the fishing line and take one bit one more and put each end of the fishing line the opposite side of the bead and just drag it down like so and now we turn it around like so and we pull this end of the fishing line through this and the bottom bead like so and now I'm going to take the other side of the fishing line and put it through the other side larger bead and the bottom bead there and through the bottom bead and then I just tie it and this is how it looks now and now we can turn the bracelet back and now we're gonna take six smaller beads and put on one side of the fishing line and then we're gonna take another six beads and put 
to on the other side of the fishing line so six and one and six on the other like so and you let them go down and now I'm going to take each end of the fishing line and pull through the top bead pull it see how it nicely covers the side bead and do the same through the opposite side when we tighten it up you like nicely covers it and it creates the nice shape and now I'm gonna take two beads on each end of the fishing line like so and then take one bead and pull through each end of the fishing line and just drag it down gonna finish up the whole bracelet and then I will show you the final result I came out with four flowers but obviously it depends like how much you have the space here how many times you do it you can do just one time one flower and do the rest of the band this way or do it continuously or just the flowers all the time which would look gorgeous as well but this is how far I am now I'm just gonna put the ends on so I take the fold over end and I just put the fishing line on it like so and then I take pliers and I just fold the sides down Tie it nice and tight, cut the loose ends off. As you can see, I have quite a bit fishing line left, so could have used a little bit less, but we live and learn. Then I have, I take the jump ring, open it up, put it on and close. 
holes there. And that's my final bracelet. I will just put it on my hand. Okay, so this is the final look. This is a bit tight. I could have done it a bit more, but it's okay. So I think it's gorgeous. Like, let me pull. I'm just going to pull one of my favorite bracelets with it like so i actually do have a video with this bracelet how i make it so if you want to know go and check out and this is my stack how pretty is that it's like it looks very expensive isn't it cute love that love it so much if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i do upload videos all the time i do do quite a lot of shorts so Go check those ones out and please let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comment section and I will see you next time. Bye!